Hello everyone, this is Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2014 Ram 5545 foot working height bucket truck. Overall, the truck's in nice condition. It has just under 180,000 original miles on a Cummins 6.7 turbo diesel that starts right up and sounds great. You can hear that now. Has an automatic transmission and overall the truck functions as it should. No known issues and everything seems to be working correctly. Like mentioned, it has a 45 foot working height over center hydraulic bucket. It does have an 1100 pound jib as well. Hydraulic outriggers, the truck is four wheel drive and everything, everything seems to be functioning as it should. You've got this big beefy steel ranch hand front bumper. Looks great on this truck. Got deep tread all the way around this truck. Frame and underside shoes really well. Light surface rust and scariest, but nothing bad normal. Driver's deploying hydraulic outriggers now, but we'll look underneath this thing. It shows really well. This truck's fed most of it, most of it's light down south, and you can see that. Very nice condition underneath. Now the cab has had some paint work as well as the boom and the boxes. We didn't do it, but previously looks like it had some paint work in the past, but it does show well. We'll take a look inside the interior. Do have some nice creature comforts, power windows, door locks, power mirrors. The driver's seat has seen a little bit better days. Looks like it's delaminating a little bit. Small tear there, but it's just a seat bottom if it were to be replaced. Floor is a nice black color overall, in nice condition. The interior shows pretty well. It's got a flip down console. Again, this truck is four wheel drive. It's got a four shift four wheel drive. Looking at the dash here, we've got 179,816 miles. Got no lights on the dash here. Go ahead and flip through and show you the hours. You can see 5,055 idle hours, 38, 37 drive hours. But no lights on the dash, truck does what it's supposed to do. We drove it in with no issues. AM FM radio, heat, air conditioning, integrated trailer brake controller. You can see our PTO switches and some different auxiliary switches there. Again, floor is a nice black color. This interior shows well. Headliner's in good shape. Let's go to the back and see what Robert's doing. So like I said, it's a 45 foot working height, over center, versa lift hydraulic boom. It does have a jib. It's a really hard to find boom. We're looking for one of these with all that functionality. It's gonna be hard to find. So Robert's gonna go ahead and showcase our over center capability. So that bucket will actually land on the ground front there. While he's doing that, I'll show you the utility boxes, all of which in nice condition. Like I said, this truck looks like it spent most of its life down south. In the last few years, it spends its life up here in Maryland, so we don't get a whole lot of snow here anyways, but I'd say this thing hasn't seen any type of harsh winters or anything like that, so there's no rust that's showing on this truck. Just some light surface rust in some of the bins, but nothing out of line. Overall, very clean inside now. Like I said, the truck has had some paint work in the past. It looks like the uh, in between the boxes and a few of the boxes have been painted. A little bit on the cab as well. Just a really cool truck, being that it's over center, it does have hydraulic outriggers, 1100 pound capacity jib, just a hard truck to find, especially right now. It seems like the bucket trucks have fell off the face of the earth. I don't know where they all went, but I guess people are keeping theirs because they can't get new ones. Got a rear hitch receiver, or a pedal hitch rather, not a receiver, just a bolt-on pedal hitch there and our necessary pole wiring. 
There's our outrigger controls. Got that one for the driver's side there. This one for the passenger side. And there is our ground control switch. So it switches it from the hydraulics to the outriggers to the hydraulics to the boom. But you can see that's what over center means. Obviously, the boom is what it is. It goes over center, allowing you to put the boom on the ground. Very versatile machine and very desirable in the bucket truck world. But the truck shows great. It's very presentable, clean, and overall no uh, known issues with this thing. It functions as it should. Got a bucket cover with this one. Now on the bucket, they did drill holes. I don't know who did this, but they did drill holes in the bucket. So that would not pass a dielectric test because of those holes. They drilled holes in the bottom of it to allow the water to go to run out. I didn't do that. Nobody did that here, but someone else for the previous center did that. So if you needed this thing to be dielectric tested, that would not pass. However, it is still a fully functional bucket truck. on the bottom there but that's a big issue we can uh, get a price for a new bucket right, looking inside here again some light surface rust a little bit on the side there nothing too crazy nothing out of the ordinary and all the tires show well but yeah, the frame and underside shows great on this truck. There's hardly any rust underneath. There's some light surface rust, but nothing out of line. It's in great shape. It just rained here, so it's straining out. But in between the boxes, all show really nice. And as you can see, functions as it should. This is a really hard truck to find right now. When I saw this truck, I knew I had to have it. Having an over center, smaller chassis truck is impossible to find. One with a jib, one with outriggers. Just a really, really hard fi to find truck right now. And there's a reason for that. People are keeping their older inventory because when you call VersaLift or Altec, they tell you it's gonna be a very long time before you can get a new one. So there's no wonder why these trucks are not out there on the market. But we have this one. I have a feeling it's gonna go quickly. You can see it is an articulating bucket as well. Jib functions as it should. Again, just a hard truck to find. We got one here. It's on my lot, it can be bought don't think this one's going to last very long being that it is four wheel drive nice cummins diesel engine and everything seems to be functioning on this truck We, like I said, we drove this truck in. We didn't do anything major to this truck. Mechanically, it's all there. We did change the oil, check all the fluids, brakes, tires, everything checked out. And it's ready to rock and roll. We did some light maintenance to the thing, but overall, when it came in, it was a truck that was used up until they released it. Purchased it from a local company that was just getting rid of their bucket trucks. He said they're no, doing no more aerial trucks, and I said, No problem, I'll take both your bucket trucks that you have. So I ended up getting two from them, and it worked out great. Because, like I said, this truck's impossible to find right now. It's a really nice truck, has had, like I said, some paint work in the past, and again, the bucket will not pass a dielectric test due to the holes, the draining holes that they added. Not a huge deal if you're not doing any type of major electrical work. But nonetheless, a great truck. You can hop in, go to work. You see everything on it functions as it should. We've had great luck with this truck. It operates correctly, and we're happy to present it.
But you can check this truck out for sale on eBay. Feel free to give me a call, shoot me a message. I'd be happy to help you. I can ship this truck throughout the United States. Call me and I'll give you a quote on that. We are Lewis Motor Company. We're located in Clarksville, Maryland, which is just outside of Baltimore, Maryland. If you have any questions on this truck or any other trucks have listed for sale, please do not hesitate to call. But again, a nice bucket truck, one that I think is going to go rather quickly, being that it is the Cummins Turbo Diesel, automatic transmission, four-wheel drive, 45-foot working height, over-center jib. The truck's got it all. Thank you guys for watching.